keeps up. Alright. I should not have tried that personal mission yet. I needed apparently a lot more... A lot more sh doing. Super. Yes, Chad, I am looking forward to Super Mario Odyssey. You know, I find myself not really caring. <laughs> It's not, I mean, you know, it's not out yet. I have, I have no reason to be hyped or not be hyped. Uh, you know what I am looking forward to? You know what comes out tomorrow? Hmm. Is Golf Story. That's, yeah. that, that's that weirdo old school RPG, but instead of combat, you play golf. Okay. It, it, it looks like it's going to be adorable fun. Okay. And so I'm... Is that on the Switch? It's, not, it's coming out on the Switch tomorrow. Okay. We would have played that tonight, but it doesn't come out until tomorrow. How is your diet going? Uh, it's it's nowhere near as strict as Jack's, but yeah, I'm in just general. I'm trying to eat better, and you know what? That works. I, I I'm going the crazy route. Basically, I've told Karen you're you're the diet czar. Oh, really? Yeah. You've put her in. You've yeah. put her in charge. Yeah. You, you've given her complete. Because I know I know what'll work for me. <laughs> and she says no. I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll grouse about it. Yeah, I'll I'll haggle with her. <laughs> I'll, what if I what if I just got the small size? And... Nope. I want some fries. I just I'm in the mood for fries. No, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's funny. I think it's funny. Well, I I think it's funny that you put Karen in charge of it because you knew you would listen to her. Yeah. But not necessarily yourself. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. I am I am wise enough to to know myself, Jack. That's good. Yeah. yeah that's good, Rich. Up hard and says, "Hey, fellas, Rich." I know you are riffing a lot during Best of the Worst, but some of the things you come up with are pretty ingenious. If you could write in any medium, what would it be? Comic, comic strip, or sitcom? Uh, it's because I can I, I, I can find a good joke when I'm goofing around with friends. Doesn't mean I would be a good writer. <laughs> I don't I don't think I would be an especially good writer. You know, it's just a different skill set. I think I think you could learn. Possibly. I don't have any such skills right now, I don't think. Other than just general ideas for things, sure. maybe. But not not actually sitting down to write them out properly. I don't think I could... That's not me. Yeah, here's what... And I've said this before, and I will repeat this. I think uh, writing is a learned skill. And, you know, like, it takes a long time just to learn how to write. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking as someone who has written stuff, uh, I would want you in the room. I'd want you in yeah. the writer's room. <laughs> okay. I, I can I can accept that because yeah you you're very good you're very good with with riffing and coming up with concepts. Another thing over here. Falcomus says, "Hey guys, have either of you played Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic? If not, would you consider it for pre rec I'm very curious to your opinions on it for the sequels. I'm just not interested." I played a bit of it and didn't much care for it. I, I I don't like their types of games. Bioware's. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of Bioware's games. I'm just not a big fan of Jedi right. or the Star Wars universe. But I did play a little it's bit fine. of it. It's fine. Uh, Telgon says, uh, Rich, do you think the latest series of Rick and Morty has declined in quality to appeal to a more general audience? If, if there's been a decline in quality with Rick and Morty, I do not think they're trying to appeal to a larger audience. I don't think they give... I think they're going to do what they want to do. <laughs> uh, yeah. If, 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 if you want to argue there's been a decline, and I don't necessarily know that that's really true, it would be, it would be because uh, either they're, they're burnt out. Possible. 
or the shtick's getting old. Like, like Rick is a horrible person, mm -hmm. and we kind of get it at this point that he's a terrible person. And sure. you're you're running out of extreme lengths that Rick can go to to shock you. And part you're of, running you're running out of that. Part of comedy is the element of surprise. Yeah. And so now you just know them you too well. You expect Rick to do the most horrible possible thing he could do. It's the. Uh, the, the Simpsons conundrum. Yeah. There's, the, you know, like, there's only so outlandish they can get before people stop paying attention. Yeah. Sure, sure. And and if, if, if also the other reason there might be a decline, if you think there is, is because this season is, I believe, twice as many episodes as season two. It's twice as many episodes. I think it's, I think it's, this season is twice as long. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Rich does the most horrible thing, but it's always in a surprising, clever way. How long can they keep that up? That's what I wonder about Rick and Morty. How long can they keep that up? Yeah. It can't be easy. But what do you think about this season so far? Uh, I'm enjoying it. I haven't, like, tried rating it relative to the last season. <laughs> sure. No, I'm not gonna read it. That. Do you think they could save Discovery if they brought in David Lynch? I think they could save Discovery if they brought in Star Trek. Sick burn! He has to go to the bathroom. Okay, I'm not gonna Python Mage says, Rich, Discovery discussion has passed. Babylon 5. Yeah, good show. I know the pilot, but good show. Okay, Rich, I get it. Won't force you. I'll, I'll read that to Jack when he gets to Jack. This is a show called Babylon 5. Great sci-fi show. I'll ask Jack what he thinks about Babylon 5 when he gets back. Nano says... What's your favorite thing Courtney Love has done, Rich? Okay. If you're being honest, though, about that question, the Courtney Love question, uh, you kind of just have to say, what, what was it? People versus Larry Flint, right? That was the one she was in? And isn't that by default? Yes, I know Kurt Cobain is the obvious joke. Actually, I was going for kill Kurt Cobain, but I like Kurt Cobain. comment about the game, which I should probably read when Jack gets here. Uh, Red Exian doubles here. Says, hey, Rich, don't play Halo! The gameplay is slow and hasn't aged well. Master Chief is uninteresting. Without reading expanded universe sources, the story is generic. I played all the games recently. Alright, well, I wasn't really planning on playing it anyway, so we're all good. We're all good, man. Rich, do you like Jerry Seinfeld? I like the show Seinfeld a lot more than I ever liked uh, Jerry Seinfeld's stand-up. Jay Fresk says, Riss J Fresk 2 says, Rich, how do you feel about Babylon 5? It felt like an other version of Deep Space Nine. My opinion is that it may have aged a bit better than Star Trek. I could never get past the pilot for Babylon 5. And I know I should. But I, I, I watched the pilot like twice in my life. And never, I, I never watched further than that. Jack, one, one. Babylon 5. Do you have any thoughts and opinions on the Babylon 5? Never, never even saw a little bit of it. Okay. I didn't even, I didn't even watch a little bit and then turn it off. The 97th Jackal says, Concussion hammers are a godsend. Mm. Less than a two-second cooldown, eight-meter reach, 
but be careful, flying bodies can knock out windows. That's true, that's true. I have I have one in my other playthrough. But they're really fun because you can send a body flying through a window, teleport away, and then all the other bodies get sucked out the window. There, that's the thing about this game, is it is full, it has the potential to be full of wonderful little moments. But, <laughs> the presentation isn't quite there. Like, they have this thing where you can, like, you know, look around like this, if you yeah. hold on the shift key, but you never get a really good sense of, like, where you are in relation to everyone else. It's, it's a little weird sometimes. It's a little jank. But, overall, okay. I like it. Overall, I really like it. Okay. Um, let's try a hard mission. The Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla says, Your stream is the vivid highlight of my week. Society question. When someone says, You are too smart for your own good, does that seem like a sincere compliment, or is it really a backhanded insult? It's not a backhanded insult. It's just an insult. <laughs> <It's> a <laughs> what, th what they're saying, when they say you're too smart for your own good, is they're saying you're very clever, but you don't know how to speak to other people. <laughs> It's just a regular old insult. Fuck. All right. Oh, oh, oh no. And I don't have any strong opinions on that because I don't think I've heard anybody say that. I've never heard that outside of like a movie or something. I don't think I've ever heard that used in, nope. in, in the real world. Nobody's ever said that to you? Yeah, no. too smart for your own good. I know some people who that has been said to them. And it's been true. So you're already at 23 seconds of capture. Yeah, this is a this is a hard mission. And so, so it starts off with the timer. Yeah, this one started off with the timer, and I don't know. What happens when you get captured? You have to play someone else. Yeah, I die. My, all my characters. Oh shit, I'm not gonna make it. Well. Okay, so so this is the pause feature. I'm here, or I'm here. I'm gonna go. Can you just abandon the mission? Yeah, yeah, I can just I can just leave. But I want to see if I can do it. Okay, so what are the what are the penalties for abandoning the mission? You just don't, you just don't get the money. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Yeah, oh yeah, not the worst. That's not bad, you're out nothing. There's no incentive not to abandon a mission at the drop of a hat, is there? If something goes mildly wrong. Is that a flaw? Uh, possibly. Okay. Whoa. Excuse you. Ferritin 2772 says, Do you guys think that the Zelda series will never be able to go back to the old formula now that uh, Breath of the Wild and BOTW, now that Best of the Worst exist? Would you prefer they stick to the new open world design? And if so, what would you add? Um, uh, I had thoughts about this before and I don't remember what they were. <laughs> Shit! Ow! Oh! Better dungeons, maybe. A bit more enemy variety, better dungeons, just incremental improvements, basically. For what? For what you would do next after Breath of the Wind or Breath of the Wild or Right. Zelda Best of the Worst. That's that that was such that was such a, a monument. How do you how do you follow up a monument? You don't. Like you just DLC it. Just give another island for him to explore, you know? Remember, killing the pilot stops the counter. Oh, I... You're fucking right. I did. I did forget that. And I, I forgot to... You know, another another downside when you play a lot is you forget what gear you currently have on you. And so I actually had a, a key cloner. And so I could have gotten to my destination a lot faster, mm. but I stopped to kill some people so I could get the key. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I wanted it. Sorry. I wanted it too bad. All right, let's see. Who do we got here? You know what? Just just give me the iconic suit from the get-go. I understand you wanted to be ultra different for the sake of just changing things up because you needed to, but... Oh, you're talking Zelda. Zelda. Yeah, you, yeah. You, 
you can give me a whole bunch of new costumes and, and just throw the classic one in there that's not hidden behind a paywall or a 100% completion. You can do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, no, I'm happy they changed it up. Per like, I, one of my favorite things was my second playthrough of Wind Waker. Because on your second playthrough of Wind Waker, you can play in your little cute island lobster oh, outfit. I know that. I, I hate that outfit, though. Oh, I loved it. I loved it. You don't always need the green tunic. Is the green tunic only through Amiibos? Technically, no. Practically, yes. The only good-looking version of that outfit is available through Amiibos. There is a really horrible-looking version of the green tunic that you can only get... Once you have 100 percented the game, at which point having it is a moot point. Right. You have to clear out every single one of the challenge dungeons. Right, so why would you play? And then after that, well, you're, you're basically done. Yeah. So... Or the shrines, not challenge dungeons, whatever. Tunic in game isn't that bad. Save the shorts. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not at all fond of the in-game tunic. The best-looking one, in in my opinion, is the Twilight Princess one you get through the amiibo. I never like awards for 100%. What the fuck am I going to do with that now? See, I agree and disagree. It depends on what the reward is. Like, an other outfit for Link? That's a lame reward. <laughs> but in Grand Theft Auto, wasn't it like a tank? A tank would spawn by your hideout? And it was just something that was fun to get in and play around with. Right, and of, of course, it was also like Grand Theft Auto was full of replayability, so... Like I, think, I think one of the Spider-Man games, if you 100%ed it, let you play as the Green Goblin. So the reward is fun! It might give you a reason to play the game again with the reward, just because it's a fun reward. Oh yeah, the, the uh, it was the Spider-Man the movie game. Yeah. Let you, let you play, and you got to play all the levels with the Green Goblin in the, and his glider. It was great! Yep. Oh yeah, that was fantastic. That was super fun. So that's that's my thoughts on that. Like like one hundred percenting the Arkham games? Somebody's saying you get like a gold bat symbol for your suit. That's lame. You know what you should get? You can play as Superman. <laughs> All of the bullets bounce bounce off of you. You can just fly. <laughs> and you beat up all the enemies in one punch. And they go flying. Batarangs are replaced with heat vision. Oh my god. Wouldn't that be just awesome? <laughs> uh, that would be a little ridiculous. And it would be completely broken because you're playing a Superman. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Would it change the story at all? Playing as Green Goblin and Sp Green Goblin and Spider Man did. That'd be a lot of work to change the story to fit around Superman. I'm okay with it. It's just a fun extra. Oh yeah. I mean, it's better than just a gold bat symbol on your suit. Are you speeding up time? I got, I got caught. I got caught, so I was speeding up time so he could carry me to the stupid exit. So I could... Oh, you were being carried. Yeah. 
Who's carrying you? Why? One of, one of the guards. When you get when you get captured, they knock you out and throw you out the airlock. Oh, I thought I was getting. You had to start as a new character then, because you got captured. Well, uh, there's two. There's a couple different. Fuck you. There's a couple different kinds of captured. Okay. Um, there's, there's that was captured A, which is different than mega captured, I guess. Okay. Does this just need to let you play zoomed in and then just have like the the wider version on like a little mini map in the bottom right? Maybe. Maybe that's it. Son of Jaina, J A I N A, Jaina says, Rich and Jack, what is your favorite non Trek sci fi show? Without the War of the Chosen corniness, would you think XCOM would be a good premise for a TV series? Also, any new voice acting work incoming? Uh, no new voice acting work. Favorite non Trek show? Farscape. Easily Farscape. There are other good, like Stranger Things, but Farscape, I think, in general, be my answer. Oh, okay. Jack, do you have a favorite non-Trek sci-fi show? Um... Favorite non-Trek sci-fi show, The Expanse, is very good. Uh, I really enjoyed um, Battle the remake of Battlestar Galactica. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a fine sci-fi show. Um, I don't know if this counts, but Orphan Black. What's the rules on sci-fi? Like, you tell me, right? <laughs> uh, Orphan Black is well, it's it's any technology that doesn't exist. Yeah. Or speculate. Yeah. So Orphan Black is a really good sci-fi show. Um, I, I don't like a lot of sci-fi. I like a lot of sci uh, fi oh Firefly, of course. Firefly was great. Um, Orphan Black is sci-fi. Oh, good. Yeah, then Orphan Black is a uh, is a really fucking good sci-fi show. And Firefly, is, but it might be Firefly because it's so good. But also, there's just not that many fireflies. <laughs> and so, like, I get more enjoyment out of Orphan Black only because there's more of them. You know, uh -huh. even though Firefly is a better show. I might be willing to count uh, Knight Rider as sci-fi. Sure. <laughs> Doctor Who is... That's sci-fi. You know, that it's... That is sci-fi and a half. It, it, like, it teeters that line between sci-fi and fantasy, where it's like, all right, it's fan... You know, like, <sighs> sure. Yeah, Doctor Who's good. Doctor Who has some good to it. As far as, would XCOM make a good TV show? Here's a fun fact. Here's a really fun fact. XCOM originally, not not like the new rebooted XCOM or anything, but the original version of XCOM was called UFO Enemy Unknown. Uh-huh. When they it was it was called that in uh, in Europe. When they when they released it in the US, they changed the name to XCOM UFO Defense. But it was originally called uh, UFO Enemy Unknown. And it was basically an unauthorized video game based on the British TV show UFO about an organization, a secret organization that was investigating these alien incursions. Really? Yes. So it's 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 technically already based on a TV show, albeit like a a shitty 70s British one. <laughs> that that is a fun fact. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. But, and see, I see a lot of you in chat saying Doctor Who got really bad. Doctor Who did get really bad, but, but there was there's like five or six solid Doctor Who seasons, maybe seven. There, you're not you're not talking about any of the original seasons either, right? When you say that, right? I'm ta I'm talking strictly about uh, Eccleston and beyond. Eccleston is a great season. All of Tenant is great. Like two seasons of Matt Smith are pretty good, <laughs> and that's when I stopped watching. So there's some good. There's some. You know what I need? I need a wrench. That's what I need. I had to fail that last mission because I had no non-lethal weapons. 
wrench. Always gotta have a wrench. Quiet automatic shotgun. If you've never seen that UFO show, you need to look into it. It's bonkers. I've never seen it, and I need to track down an episode or two. I've heard of it. I've only heard of it. Fuck the bloodless. I don't give no fuck if I spill the blood. I love killing people. That's my favorite thing to do in this game. Murder people. Because you're supposed to be a sneaky spy, and there's definitely nobody talking about you if they're dead. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Uh, Huff Hearted says. Huff Hearted! Hi. Hey, Jack. Hi. I don't believe in censorship, and I don't have an anger problem. But, were there any shows your kids couldn't watch because it was annoying? We banned Caillou. I hated that bald-headed bastard. Caillou. Alright. Uh, yeah, Caillou fucking sucks. Uh, I agree with that. This is, I'm assuming this is a children's show? It's a, it's a PBS children's show uh, that stars the most annoying little kid you will ever hear. He's whiny, he complains all the time, he doesn't understand the shit that's going on around him. Caillou's the fucking worst. Um, yeah, there's a couple shows that we like really try to steer them away. There was one in particular, and I don't know if it's still on Netflix, and it was a show what was it called? It was something about crayons. They were like talking crayons, but they didn't really talk. They just made noises. And it was like 25, 30 minutes of just crayons with faces on them that would just like wiggle and make noises. Meant for like two year olds. Right, but, and you know, my, my kids were young when they watched it and they w loved it. And I couldn't even stand it to be on in the background. So eventually we just told them it wasn't working. I was like, yeah, it's not working. <laughs> and they're like, no, I see it right there. And we said, yeah, no, it doesn't, uh, doesn't work. It's like called Crazy Crayons or something. Huh. Uh, I'm trying to think of others. I mean, and there's a million shows like that where you just don't, like, there was one, oh, there was a show called Cannibals. And it, it, it starred, like, animals that you could stuff into a can or something. That one, too. Eh. Eh, I'm sorry. But sometimes children's programming, Rich. Very sorry, Jack. As you should be. The sacrifices you have to make as a parent. S. Carson says, Jack, how long do you think Barry will be stuck in the Speed Force prison in season four? I think he'll be out before Thanksgiving. The guy playing Wally sucks. I don't think I can handle him as the Flash for long. So did I just read a whole bunch of like spoilers that I probably shouldn't have read because I didn't know any better? Uh, last season spoilers. Um, so, you know, nothing too bad. Um, DC loves just replacing their heroes with lamer knockoffs of the old heroes you liked. Like what? Uh, like The Flash. With, uh, I don't know who the original was, Wiley West and Barry Allen and... Well, yeah, so while... Green Lantern with, uh, uh... Oh, yeah. Kyle whatever. Oh, yeah. So in, in CW Flash universe, Wally West is Kid Flash. Yeah. And work he works alongside Flash. And I do agree he's not the greatest actor. But if you're into the show, like, it, it's... It, there's, a, there's a neat dynamic with Wally West and Barry Allen in the CW show. Where, as everyone knows, the Flash's parents got killed mm -hmm. by a speedster when he was very young. Uh, in the CW universe, he was adopted by his neighbor, Joe West. And so Joe West is the father figure's great father figure. You know, he, taught, he, he raised Barry after his parents got brutally murdered, and he was also the cop in charge of investigating his murder. Yeah. So it was, it's, it's really neat. Wally comes around as... Joe's son that he never knew about who's about Wally or who's about Barry Allen's age. Yeah. And so there's a really neat dynamic there about like, you know, we're kind of brothers. You're my real son. Barry's my adoptive son. You know, like yeah, there, there's yeah. neat family drama. There. 
Last season, Barry got trapped in the Speed Force. How long will it take him to get out of the Speed Force? Ten minutes into the first episode? Because they never stay. It's, he's the <laughs> fucking star of the show. He's the star of the show. He's not going anywhere. Come on. Get real. He's gonna he's gonna be in the speed force for approximately three seconds and come out of it. Sir Dank of the Whale says, hey guys, best of the worst hypothetical death match. Shockma versus the tank diving baboon from Order of the Black Eagle. Who comes out victorious? The, the tank driving baboon because he has a tank. And he's probably a lot smarter than Shockma. I've never heard you guys compare these two iconic baboons. Shockma! I don't know that Shockma is stronger than a normal baboon. He's just homicidal, right? Right. Well, there no, there might have been something. Was there in some there strength about, like, enhancement? You know, there usually is. <laughs> It, 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 none of it matters if the tank driving baboon gets to drive his baboon tank. Right. That trumps shock bump. Plus, he's a lot smarter than Shockma. He's smart enough to know how to drive a tank. Point that out. Shockma has trouble with doors. <laughs> there we go. Got him. Everything's fine now because I have my wrench. I need a good wrench. Dr. Lube it up says, I listened to the Lego stream while driving. The sound of Lego bricks brought back memories. I'll have to sort my collection one day. Looking forward to seeing this tip on YouTube. You know, and, and you know, the Lego, like I said, the Lego stream was fun. I, it, it was fraught with uh, production value. So like I said, I don't know if I'll do it anytime soon. The one thing though, is you know a lot of our chat be a bunch of bitches. And they spent the majority of the stream complaining about how I organize my Legos. And I got a fucking system, man. What were you doing wrong? According to them, you need to organize every single Lego by type and not by color. Honestly, if you really want them sorted, it should be both. It should be, of course. I, ideally, though, I would do color before I did uh, type. And I do a little bit of both. For the bigger ones, any, anything over a, like a two by one tiny brick yeah, yeah. is color. Well, but, yeah, I'd probably want a smaller yeah. smaller blue pieces and larger blue pieces. Exactly. But... And then for the small specific pieces, I do all by type. Okay. And so everyone's like, no, you got oh, everything, you know, all the all the two by fours, all the four by sixes, all the two by sixes. It's like, fuck, fuck no, you. Then, then, then you end up with multicolored monstrosities that you're building. Right. Right. I need a blue thing. I can't find it. I'll just grab it out of the red. You know, you know. No, no. That's, a, that's the thing. Like, hey, no. I'm going I'm to build a blue boat. Well, I guess I need to go to this blue bin and then this blue bin and then this blue bin. Fuck. No, <laughs> you just go to the one blue bin. It's all the blue shit. Yeah. 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 So y'all got to get off my nuts. A lot of people were on my nuts, Rich. Straight up on them. I hope the chat is kidding when they're taking this shit seriously. I really hope they're kidding. About what? The, 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 their upsetness level. About um, the Legos? Uh, yeah. Pro uh, they're probably, and I'm sure they were, most of them were joking. I'm, I'm on your side in this one, Jack. Color before type. Color before type, and then, like, and I showed them all of my bins that were just type. It, it didn't matter what color. Like, all the little great pieces, like the two-by-ones that have the great ones. I have a whole bin full of that. And all the, oh, I showed them all my bins. I can do that. I can do that. Everything's fine. No. All right. Um. And I know it wasn't all chat, but you know, you see those comments. It's a fucking chat. Anti Shatter says, "Love your guys' work. Have you seen the trailer for the Disaster Artist? James Franco as Tommy Wiseau has me cracking up." I've only seen, like, the teaser. 
or it's just the him coming out of the door over and over again. That's all I've seen. Oh, I, I, I've, I've seen the full trailer. The book is good. I've read the book. And I haven't read the book, and, you know, I haven't seen The Room in general. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, the movie looks fun. It looks it looks good. It looks like he's doing a, a good impression of Tommy Wiseau. Like, die, scum. These people really deserve to die. Uh, they're in my way. I think I see the blood stain. No, the blood stain dries up. They'll, um, be, they'll, they'll just see the body. No, that'd be a nice touch if they could see the blood stain. Ooh, that would be. So then you would want to use more non-lethal weapons. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe you had to take like an extra step to clean it up. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, or or like you use a non-lethal weapon, but then the drawback is uh, they might wake up. Like right now, if you knock someone out, they're knocked out yeah. for the whole mission. Yeah. But you could have a little back and forth with the blood stain where. Pause. You have to pause. This way, right now. Alright. Um. Tesperon? Tesperon? I think. It says, hey, gang, question. If you're bad at a game, is it fair to criticize that game? I'm terrible at Undertale, yet I find myself also thinking it's a bad, only okay game because of its clunky mechanics. Thank you. Depends on what you don't like about it. Your your ability to play a game has very little to do with your ability to criticize a game. As long as you articulate your thoughts good enough, that's all that matters as far as criticism is concerned. Right. Now, you can say like, you know, like let's let's have an extreme example. Is you just like cannot use a mouse, <laughs> and you're playing a first person shooter, right? And your main criticism of it is it's really hard to aim with a mouse. Then I'll, you might find a lot of people disagree, just like, oh, well, I'm just going to disagree with you. <laughs> you know? But your, your opinion would still be, I don't like the mouse and you have to use the mouse. Exactly. And if you're someone who didn't like using the mouse, that would be useful information. Like, oh, you can only use a mouse? Oh. Like, my, my review of Halo would be, the controls suck because you have to use a controller. Right. That would be my review of Halo. Hmm. Though speaking of, not necessarily unrelated, there have been reports in the wild of PlayStation 4s um, under the radar incorporating mouse keyboard controls in all games. Okay, okay. Because I know that was one of your big complaints with Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah. And you might be able to just do that in games now, use a mouse keyboard. So, All right. yeah. Heat signature. It's still a grindy MMO, though, right? Oh wait, no, Horizon. Zero. I'm thinking Horizon of Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm thinking of uh, the other one, Destiny. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, Destiny. But, but uh, yeah, no, I uh, know in Horizon Zero Dawn, I know that was one of your big. Yeah, it was. It was. There's too much aiming in that game for a controller. Some people like those types of games, but you don't, but you can't really say it's not a good game. I can say it's not a good game for me. That's what the, the whole purpose of, that's what the review is. What do you think of the thing? Right, that's, that's the whole thing. Like, this game was not a good game for me because X, Y, and Z. A, like, a review is a subjective thing, not an objective one. Always, Al uh, always. <laughs> Un unless your review is purely based around measurable metrics, like like let's say someone only measures FPS frames per second while using this hardware. Yeah. Like they don't talk about the gameplay. All they do is measure. They give you numbers, and that would be a really boring fucking review. It'd be a boring review that's not useful to you. Right. Well, unless you have that hardware. Yeah. <laughs> then you'll know exactly. Uh, if the game will play on your system, but yeah, I think a lot of people forget like reviewing is is this incredibly subjective thing.
that you've ever had any desire to own a pinball machine or an arcade cabinet. When I was a kid, we had one. That pinball machine. You had a pinball machine yeah. in your house? Yeah. Awesome. My, my, my grandmother had seven kids, six of them were sons. We had, we had crap. Oh, you know what we had? Pinball machine, there was a Pong table. Table, the, the screen was in the table. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. To a pinball stream? Come on, how? How we even? Surf's a lot. I don't know if that's a joke or not, that's, but that's a joke. We, we play a lot. We play a lot of FTL. That's totally a joke. Um, you never, you never know. Okay. Let's... I am Chester says your fight of God stream was great. Yep. Uh, I would recommend for Halloween season Terror Dome, the fan-made fighting game based on horror movie characters like Jason. Freddy, Ash, etc. could be fun. I've heard of that. Pumpkinhead's in that too, right, I think? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that could be silly. That could be very silly. I don't know how good a fan-made brawler is going to be, but... Yeah. Equipment. Great. Alright, uh, search lot. Apparently, they're, they're saying it's the first time in here. No, we've we've played the fu <clears throat> we've played the fuck out of FTL. Oh God, S so many FTL streams. I did I did a no pause run once. Oh, that was a glorious run. <laughs> <laughs> on normal. Uh, yeah, on normal. Rich beat FTL without pausing <laughs> on normal. <laughs> it was that was a glorious run. I, I had to adjust my strats. Mm -hmm. I lost. I was so, like, frantically f switching up what I was doing. Like, somebody suffocated. I didn't even notice. It was like three jumps later. I'm like, wait a minute. Where's my mantis? <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys trying, uh, getting, or trying to get a SNES Mini? I have a PC. I have a Super Nintendo at home. <laughs> I, my Super Nintendo is still hooked up to my TV, so I have no need. For the SNES Mini. But you don't have Star Fox, too. I have a PC. That was available on ROM when you couldn't get it any other way. Mm. Because they'd never released it. It just leaked onto the internet. And the only way you could play Star uh, Fox 2 was via the ROM. Chester says, yeah. Rich, if you are still interested in putting a Raspberry Pi in a NES shell, there is a fancy new NES Pi case for the Pi that looks like the recent NES Classic. Uh -huh. I got a few. I could send you and Jack one. That might be neat. Rich is interested. It's not a project I'm, I'm having any immediate... I don't, I don't have like any immediate plans to build a Raspberry Pi NES. That could be neat. A.E. Carter 1207 says, Jack, love yeah. building the Lego pirate ship during the last stream. <laughs> I saw your progress, yes. I like that. Can't wait to build more 30 plus year old sets. Maybe next time I'll break out the space monorail system. Oh, wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. 
I see in chat someone's asking about how we're liking uh, X Split so far. And here's something I will say they have this little, like, thing on top of X Split that uh, gives us some of the data. And uh, right now, uh, for this entire stream, we have zero dropped frames. Nice. Nice. That's really nice. We, we got the three month. We, we got a code for three months. That's, that's what we paid for. And we're going to try this out for a little bit. I know uh, we use the Elgato Stream Deck. And there are more options for XSplit than there is for OBS. I, I'm liking it. It's a, it's a little bit different, but so far I'm really liking it. We're using, what is that? We're using 12% of the GPU, 19% of the GPU. So I don't know if, how bad that is, but <laughs> there's all sorts of little doodads and whatnots and who's it's. But uh, so far I'm, I'm pretty uh, optimistic about using XSplit. There's a couple of weird um, quirks. Like for example, I w we weren't able to find a compressor. Okay. For our microphones. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And there was one in OBS, and I couldn't find one for XSplit. Uh, that's probably just a more a longer we, Google we, search. We about. might, yes, we might need to dig a little bit deeper to find it. Yeah. So, like, there, there's a couple quirks that we should work out, but I mean, you guys can see us, and uh, yeah, that's good. And yeah. So you know, what else are you gonna do? More so here. What's going on? I was really hoping if I got close enough to this guy. Oh, he's gonna shield? Oh, there it is. Is there equipment you don't have yet? Uh, yes. Well, there, there's equipment I could use to disable shield, but this is what I thought. If you get um, close enough to you him. You could just steal the card. And he just, you got lucky and he didn't see you? And he just walked away. See, so you got lucky. I got incredibly lucky, except for right now. Now I'm going to get a little unlucky. Uh, right. He's not looking at me. Oh, this guy sees me. Shit. Actively sees you? Yeah, you see, he's got that little... Uh, you, no, you can't see. Haha. <laughs> Oh, oh, look, even that, even that shrinks. He has an exclamation point. Right okay. Here. And look, when you, when you try to zoom in, even that shrinks. This guy with the shield doesn't see me, and I don't want him to see me because, oh, God, I need his, oh, f oh, I'm so fucked. So he's got a key in here. He's got a key in here, which means I need to steal it, and because this guy sees me, he's going to freak out. Can you just get out of his vision soon enough? This guy? Maybe. Yeah. What's his range? Of sight. That's a great question. Is it all the way? Uh, apparently, like you can see me. Or over is it here. just where your circles interlap? No, this circle. Uh, this circle is the range of uh, range of effectiveness for my high capacity sidewinder, my teleport. Okay. Can you teleport away? I. I can only teleport inside this room, inside this circle, inside this room. Yeah. Because I need a direct link. Teleport here, he'll see me. Maybe I could. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can you get behind him? Huh? Can you get behind him? Yes, but I think he'll see me. Now this guy sees me. Get behind. No, oh, you already have the body. He's gonna see, and you can't take him out, right? Yeah, you're fucked. Uh, pretty fucked. Wait, wait. Did he get? Oh, uh, nope, nope. He's about to get me. Uh, Teleport behind him. Unless you're currently alive. Kill the captain, so that'll shut off the. Uh... <laughs> yeah, you're doing good. You've you've made a nice recovery. Yeah. What do I even have to do? I forgot what my mission is. Oh, I have to assassinate that person. Well, that's not fucking happening now. I just gotta get out of here at this point. Wait, wait. What happened? What do you need to do? I have to get all the way over here and assassinate that fucker. You can do it. All right, let's see. What, 
Let's see what we can do here. What do I need? I need a three card key that this fucker has. All right, well, hang back and see what they do. There's no timer now. Right. We have time. Hide that body while we... Can you, can you lure them away? There you, here you go, you got him. And, oh, I only have one teleport left. That was my last teleport. Oh my God. Can you sneak out of there? Get around the corner just real fucking quick. Nope. Go, 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 go! It's in slow motion. Oh. Ah. <sighs> So it automatically goes into slow motion? Whenever the enemy sees you, yeah. But I mean, like, yeah, it, it, I wouldn't have been able to move no matter what. All right, Craig Nation says, hey, Jack. Hi. Thanks for sharing that pic of Make It So Picard and off-brand Riker from your Vulcan trip on Twitter. It was oh. very funny and made my day. Oh, yeah, they were talking about, I, I think I showed you, I actually realized I'd never shared those with, uh, with Twitter. Are you right back to the same mission? Yeah. <laughs> I want to see what I can get away with. Oh, no, but my teleporter's done. Ah, fuck. I need a better teleporter. Does it ever recharge or is it just permagon? It recharge. It only recharges once you... Oh, actually, wait, wait. It recharges anytime you go to a friendly base. Okay. So I wonder if I can recharge and then try to find the ship again. That's a little cheese, but I'm going to go for it. Monkey's Cat says, hey, guys. I created Paul Feig for a new War of the Chosen run. Uh, By chance, he was a very low cohesion with every other soldier. I almost feel sorry for him. Very sorry. Cohesion's how likely they are to make friends and get a bond with another soldier. And he was low cohesion? Yeah, with everyone. With everyone. Okay. All right. All right, we can do this. We can do this. I killed the captain, so there's no timer. I already stole that key, so that's not gonna stop me. Okay, we gotta get over here. We gotta get over here. Wait, how am I gonna? Oh, I can shoot him into space. Okay. okay. Can Can you disable that gun emplacement? I don't have the thing to disable the gun. Maybe if I get. I yeah, how are you even gonna get in there? Huh? How are you even gonna get in there? That's a great question. Well, uh, this door is open, so once this so the, uh, this thing. Oh, it rotates. rotates? Yeah. So this door will open eventually. And then I need to get... I need a level 4 key. Who has the level... F oh. oh, for fuck's sake! Level 4 key's over here. And I need the level 4 key before I can get... Gosh dang it. Uh, this might have some good loot in it. Somebody's saying press E on gun sentry. Put the sapper on the sentry. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Thank you. Ah! Yep. Great. Will it shoot at, uh... Will it shoot at enemies now? No, there is a, um... There is a, a gun that you can use to turn sentries and shields on your enemy. I just don't have that gun. Okay, and I need to steal it from this fucker. I have the visitor. What's the range on that? Okay, okay, here's what we can do. Here's what we can do. Yeah. So I have uh, this here, the teleporter, is the visitor. Yeah. Click anywhere within a radius to teleport there. You'll be pulled back to your original locations two seconds later. Well, they shoot me in two seconds. Teleport. Who's, who's got the key? This person right here. They will shoot you in two seconds. I think. It's worth a shot. Pause. Oh, do they shoot their own? Oh, wait, no, no. <laughs> they, they captured me, but they teleported me back. Yes! 
Doesn't matter, I got it! <laughs> oh, look at now these fuckers are confused. That's great, that's great, that's great! <laughs> Eat it, fucks! This, this is very enjoyable. I am pleased. Uh, it... Shit. Uh, yes, it is a very enjoyable game. It's a game that I... I, I enjoy it because of moments like that. Like, it, it really forces What's you to think. red canister thing. What's that? That's nothing. There are big orange canisters that are, um... Loot. Loot. All right, I need this guy to come over here. I can't kill him because he has a shield. What's the range of the window? I think you have to be in this room. So I need him to come over here. I think he needs to be in specifically this room. Can you get him to chase you? Yeah. Further down. Don't do it there. No, no, I'm gonna. I'll wait till he comes like closer. Oh shit! Another guy's coming. I need to kill him. Jump. Shit. Just one dude left. You can kill the shield guy by exploding the big orange fuel canisters. What? You can explode those canisters? Apparently. Try it. Try it. Wait. Uh oh, he's alerted. That's okay. Oh wait, 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 wait. I wanted to get more. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Wait. Wait. Gun. Yeah, okay. Really? Wait, is it glowing? It might be in the process of exploding. <laughs> so that's what those things do. All right, we have an answer. You can explode <laughs> rooms. Fucking nice. All right, well now I gotta get out of here. Well, which I, can I just leave this? Okay. Awesome. I, 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 I just thought those barrels were there for uh, for flavor. I figured there was something to them, but I didn't know what. Anonymous says, I saw you recently played Fight of Gods. Yes. I met the dev a few weeks ago and told him it would be funny to add Mohammed and just make the character model invisible. Uh, he said he didn't want to get bombed. You know. That's depressing. Enough. You know, eh, right? It's one of those things. One of those things. I feel good about that mission. I feel good about that mission, Rich. We did we did we did some good work there. You that did was, you hey, did marvelous. That mission. was some hey, that was teamwork. <laughs> the chat too. <laughs> Everybody did great. Whew, okay. Visitor really came in. Really came in handy. Uh, I'm gonna check out. I probably don't need all of these things, but I like them all. You know? I just like ha I like it. You don't get a big inventory slot. Which is, which is fair. Gotta make some tough decisions. Bloodless cause. Get out of town. Seems like you're not supposed to kill non-target people. Yeah, they're a guard. They're on the table. Yeah, yeah. The, like so, there are he these. I, I don't know how much you can see this. This right here: steal the Lakeo Kondai contraption, kill no one. That's a, a mission that is specifically bloodless. Ah, uh, okay. You are not supposed to kill anyone. But anyone else, yeah, just kill anyone you want, man. Get in, if they get in your way. Let's try one of these ones, an audacious one. What does that mean? 
uh, apparently super difficult. Oh, that's the difficulty level. Yeah. This is gonna be a mistake. This ship is flying through hostile territory and will come under heavy missile fire. Maybe not. I guess, you know what, let's try one of these, uh, lo don't kill anybody ones. How about that? Let's try I, don't, I don't know that you're gonna be any good at that. Ooh. You are You are a bloody stealth gamer. I really like killing people. Okay, so let's get rid of our, our short blade. We won't need that. Send that to stash. Get rid of our gun. Well, we'll hold on to the gun because I might have to blow out a window. Gas cam prime, thank you. I have anything interesting to say? Absolutely. We'll get rid of the shotgun. Thank you. All right. Let's go. The highest difficulty level in the game is mistake. Oh. Well, we're gonna we're gonna try a a, a bloodless hard one. I've been watching the stream for five minutes, and I already learned three new things you can do in this game. Yeah. Listen, I lo I've been playing this game for like, I have hours into this game, and I didn't know you could do that with the barrels. Look, I I am I'm going to finish my current XCOM commander run, and then maybe I'll take a look at this. But mm -hmm. I just I just can't right now. I simply can't. I think that's totally fair, Rich. Three guys over here. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Someone showed the dev something he didn't realize you could do on Twitter recently. Oh, yeah? Oh, shit, I almost shot someone. Oh, 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 I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy, Rich. People? Nope, but I made a big loud noise and my gun was was equipped and so I e shot my gun and alerted everyone to my presence. Who do I need to I need what do I need to do? Fuck. Good job you missed. <laughs> Somebody's saying. I did miss, that's yeah, that's the good news. <laughs> the good news <laughs> is that I missed. Somebody's saying hotline? Yeah, it's it's Hotline Miami by way of FTL. Hotline Pausami. Nice. There it is. Okay, 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 okay. We can do this. We can do this, Rich. Seems the XCOM fatigue system is working on Rich. If you mean growing, I mean I I, I kind of feel the same I did about it from the beginning. I I get where it adds more depth to the game, but I'm still not. I'm still not loving it. I, I I miss being able to bring my favorite troops on every mission. I miss that. This game is about making mistakes and getting out of it in clever ways. Yep. I'm with you. And I, I just, I'm gonna beat this mission. I got 35 seconds. I can do this. I can do this. I can get out of here. I'm going to steal more loot, too. Ooh, yeah! Uh, high capacity swapper. Fuck yeah! Alright, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Wasn't this a bloodless mission? I didn't kill anyone. And knocking somebody out isn't the same thing as killing them. I used my wrench and I used my concussive gun. Not my regular gun. I did not kill a single person. I followed the rules. I sent them a Yahtzee's game, but I don't think they ever played it. We have we have a metric fuck ton of games, though. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be out of spite. Right, right, yeah. It's, we have so many games that we want to play and are playing currently, and more games are going to come out. And... Boom. So everyone just has brain damage now. It's better than being dead. Are they, are they, hey, I followed the letter of the law. Did I kill anyone? No. That's all that matters. These, these are Batman rules. 
I remember that playing playing uh, Arkham Asylum is you know like Batman clearly crushed a lot of people's spines, broken legs. <clears throat> we got your slipstream. We don't need that. We're gonna sell that. And get out of here. The swapper is an interesting one. So like right now I have three different teleporters and I love them all. The swapper changes places with another person. Yeah. And so if you wanted to, and I've done this, I've done this in a mission before, you can break the window and then swap with a person so they get sucked out and you, you're fine. You have time before you get sucked out of the window? Because you you can fire your gun and pause and then ah, click on the swapper. before it hits the window. Yeah. And then click on the swapper, swap with someone, and then it hits the window while they're in the room. Eh, eh, eh. The swapper is a really fun, like, they're all, like I said, the, the situations are really fun. User interface, CX. Ooh, my personal mission is ready to go, but I just don't feel like I'm ready for that yet. What's a personal mission? That's like the, that's like my character's is big mission. Story progress kind of stuff, or? Kind of. Rescue my idiot kid who got captured by the glitchers. Okay. It's it's worth a lot of money usually, and then I, I think after you're done with that, you retire. And then you can go to, like, the Hall of Retired Peoples and see shit from peoples. But I'm doing all right. Ooh, steal the... Yeah, I'm okay, I, I want to steal stuff. <clears throat> Oh, what are these guys? Rigged with explosives that detonate if hit with lethal damage. Not make all attacks are safe. Okay. Great. Faradin2772 says, Faradin! Hypothetical question. Hypothetical! If you two were asked to appear in a film, say as a cameo appearance and a Skype call, what would your expected rate of compensation be? That sounds less than hypothetical. Eight million dollars. It kind of sounds like you're asking us to be in your movie. Yep, yep. The answer is no. I don't know what your movie is, what it's about. I don't know what you're going to do with this footage. We, yeah, we don't know you. <laughs> Dylan Not Dylan says, are there any non-Sierra or non-LucasArts adventure games that you love? None that I can think of, honestly. I mean, they made the bulk of them. Uh, Lucasfilm? And uh, Sierra. Really? Just not gonna see me? Don't, okay. don't complain. I'm not gonna complain. Complaining. You can ghost missions too, where you don't knock anyone out and yeah. you don't like. I think you get bonus points for that. It seems like it would be neat. What's the strategy for ghosting here? Well, so this is the next key card I need. Yeah. Right here. I'm assuming it's not possible to ghost everyone. I'm assuming there's a fair amount of randomly generatedness going on. Right. With right. these. But if this guard moves, I could probably do another thing where, you know. So right now the strategy is wait and see if, if we can get this guard to move. Or if this guard does move. Because if that guard decides to go for a walk. That guard's going for a walk. You, you might have to take the other guards out. Because they seem to leave. Yeah. Well, maybe they take turns. Let's see you coming for me? No. Maybe they're just taking turns. It's a wall. Shay, are you safe to sneak behind there? No, because these, these guys are these guys are looking this way. There we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. It's happening, it's happening. He's gonna come here. Are you, are you gonna try and ghost this? Yeah. I 
mean... Is this, a, is this a no kill or are you just trying something different? I'm just trying something just for the fuck of it. Okay. Okay. I'm done with that. I mean... I'm going to miss out on some possible loot, but I don't know if I've ever ghosted a mission. Okay, this one's going to be tricky because here's the, the key, the key pad. I need to hit the pad, but there's only one guy in here. That's good. It's really good. Plan this out. What do you need? You need that. This is. I need to steal this. So I. I probably can't ghost the entire thing. Oh no! I haven't used any of my sidewinder yet. I can sidewinder in, steal it, sidewinder out, and you know leave via window. Yeah. If they see you. It's not a ghost. I don't know what the rules with ghosting is. Is it alarms? Well, right? having played thief, I when they referred to ghosting, it means you. You were not at all spotted by a guard. You left no no evidence that you were ever even there. Right. No alerts, no what was that noise? It's just well, let's see what they do. So it uh, look oh shit. Oh shit. Well, we'll use up a sidewinder. Wait, well he might you might be able to sneak past him when he goes in. Okay, we got one gone, he comes over here. I bet they're just going to leave one at a time, too, though. Yeah. You're going to need to take them out. I don't think you can ghost this. I, I, I'm agreeing with you. Hello, wrench. That's okay. Well, we will... It'll be spectacular. Move the body. Move the body. didn't notice oh no that was a teleporting guard some of the guards when they are alerted to trouble like teleport okay okay all right um bye why these why do these spaceships have glass windows they took their design from star trek <laughs> should be aluminum <laughs> they should be in an aluminum alloy. Yeah, it should be uh, uh, see-through aluminum. Trans Transparent aluminum. aluminum? Anonymous wants to know if we'll talk about our memories of the early internet. Back in my day, it was a uh, 56k modem, and you did. I know, 56k modem, Jack. And it went squee! Blah, 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 blah. I, I just remember, you know, because I was making dumb movies back in the day. Yeah. And I remember my cousin showing me Stella shorts. That's, you know, Michael Show Walter, uh, David Wayne, and Michael Ian Black. Mm -hmm. And they had a little internet video comedy show. And, you know, the image was about this big. It was like 320 by 160. And I thought it was the most revolutionary thing in the world. Do you mean we can make movies and put them on the internet? It was. The most revolutionary thing in the world. And and he had like a... like a, That's not the early internet, though. Huh? 
Oh, by the no, time you not... get to, by the time you get to video, yeah. Well, what I'm talking like real player uh, on a video that you could upload yourself. I remember like he he made his own like Apple website because we were we were I mean we're still Apple fanboys, but we were Apple fanboys, and Apple had the ability to like make your own like at apple.com website. Mm -hmm. So he made his own website, and you know we we shot the dumbest video, and it took him three days to upload this like minute and a half video yeah and you could you could click on it and it would take five minutes to load yeah. and watch load. yeah it was great it was amazing it was it was uh, a lot slower and there was a lot more reading that's the early internet uh yeah some shit's been around forever like snopes.com is ancient mm-hmm yeah no and you know they're like you don't really see you don't really see message boards anymore. Or chat rooms. Message a AOL, boards AOL, that rooms. used to be the thing. AOL, yeah. you can talk to people from all over the world. Mm -hmm. There they are. Just go in and say hi. Yeah, and so, you know, kind of social media has taken that over. The social media yeah, has, yeah. has taken over the, uh, the, uh... This is a chat room. I know, but it used to be a far more prominent thing with the internet chat rooms. And this chat room is way different, you know, like replying to a 14 page thread and then like hanging around for the next couple of days to see if someone replies to your the, thread. The, the AOL chat rooms were a lot like this. They were. That was one on one. Though. though a lot more people were just horny teenagers. Right. right. Looking to get laid mm -hmm. and failing miserably, pathetically. Age, sex, location. It has a great pickup line. Age, sex, location. Mm-hmm. Let's play one of these uh, de defector missions. This could be fun. So these defector missions are one big-ass ship. Look at this. Oh, my God. What is this? So this is a... De uh, after you, uh, you you saw me earlier kind of take over a little satellite, each satellite has their defector missions. And, like, for this one, I get 113 credits, which is pretty good. But I have to start with this so i have a self-charging swapper armor piercing short blade and quick fire shotgun and i cannot raise any alarms all right that's the the goal here so these are like pre-done maps this isn't randomly well, generated the, be my assumption no the the map is if you fail you can start over and it's randomly generated. oh okay the only thing that's not randomly generated is my me and my equipment so what do i need to Oh, assassinate. I need to assassinate this motherfucker on the other side of the fucking spaceship. Subcharging swapper. Piercing short. Damn it. So you've already failed. Did I press the wrong button? What happened? I probably pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. That's what happened. Yeah. Uh, so we're just going to restart the mission. And you see now, uh, the, the map is slightly different. Okay. Classic wrong button press. Take gun. So you can't kill, you just can't raise the alarm. Right. They have wives and kids, families, Jack. Uh huh. Uh, I, I don't understand your point. They also have blood. It's all over the place now. 
I know, because you're a violent fucking murderer. Here. Yeah. You're, un you're completely unsympathetic. Uh-huh. I, ha I have a mission, Rich. And, 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 and stupid and selfish. Uh-huh. I feel like I'm watching Star Trek Discovery. Ah! Brought, 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 it all, brought it all the way around, Rich. You did it. on grapes, the blood will go away? Uh, is this the thing? No, yeah, the blood just goes away. I I, oh. I I like that idea, though. Of needing to clean up? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. think that's a fun idea. Thank you. Cannot bypass them yet, but there's no one really around, so I don't need to necessarily be worried about making too much noise. So, actually, can you make noise deliberately and then swap with the guy in back? Oh, they teleport. The one that the one teleports. On on. Is it uh, just the one? Just the one. The one with the green teleports. So they're gonna raise the alarm. This is all my fault. That's okay. Hey, trial trial and this error. This is all Rich. my fault. Trial and error. I will accept. Sorry, Jack. I thought that'd be a really clever strategy. That was a really clever strategy, and I like it. But now we know. Now we know. Okay. Got a guard over here. Guard over here. Now we got a guard right here. Trial and error and error and error. My error though, that's all I made. Backseat gaming fail. This is a backseat suggestion fail. You know, but it, what if that would have worked? That would have been awesome. And I, th by the way, I think it would have worked if if uh, we had accounted for that teleporting guard. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So that was the real thing. It was that teleporting guard's fault. Over here. So we go down this corridor. So the key is taking care of that teleporting guard first. Again, there's no one really around, so we can teleport into this guy. I'm here now. Use our quick fire shotgun on that guy. Chat, unless we're talking about Rogue One, Star Wars is fun and adventurous. Star Trek Discovery is not. Is 
So I don't I don't necessarily know that I don't I don't think Discovery is trying to be like Star Wars because then it would at least be fun. Revenge and Sith, Revenge of the Sith and Attack of the Clones were so fun and adventurous. What the f you're talking about the fucking prequels. Come on, man. It's pretty well Come done. Come on. I mean, as far as trolling goes, you're not even trying. Come on, man. Armor piercing rounds. something entirely different to talk about here. Uh, what's going on? Um, Ricketts47 says, Rich, do you think you could beat up Dustin Diamond? Uh, didn't, didn't Horshack make the mistake of thinking that? Didn't they have that celebrity boxing match? And, and didn't, uh, didn't uh, Dustin Diamond beat the crap out of him? Like, kind of famously and brutally? Yes. I think, I think Dustin Diamond could probably handle himself, honestly. Might be right. Dustin Diamond has had to put up with a lot of shit. I, I, <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if he knew how to fight. <laughs> I will sound completely dumb, but if I were to start... <sighs> I love you guys, but you see so much stuff, I can't read things. If I start watching Star Trek, the films, or the TV show, where do, where do you really begin with Star Trek? It's digital Xanax. Uh, t uh, start with the TV shows. I would, I would go straight to Season 3 of TNG. TOS? Well, I like TOS. I, I can see where someone might not think it's aged well. TOS. Sure, sure. I think, I mean, there's a lot of redeeming qualities, but sure. There's a there's a lot... TNG Season 1, I know Tiberius Kirk in the chat disagrees with me entirely. Season 1 is awful. Of TNG. There's some, there's some redeeming qualities. Season 2's a big improvement, but it's not like a uniform improvement. It's like half the episodes are really good, and half the episodes are really bad. For Star Trek's TNG season two. Sure. So I would just start straight away at TNG season three. Uh -huh. It's not like it's not like there's a long ongoing story you need to worry about with TNG. Right. So just go straight to season three. And then if you like that, if you watch season three, yeah, I'm liking that. Then you can take a peek at seasons one and two if you want. TNG seasons one and two are terrible. I disagree with two. Season two of TNG has some of the best episodes in the series. Measure of a Man and uh, what's the Riker uh, if serving on a Klingon ship as yeah. part of an exchange program? Uh, uh, that's not Code of Honor, that's is it? Good, that's a good episode. Whatever it is. No. Whatever episode that is, that's a good one, and that's season two. There's some, there's some great episodes in season two. Matter of honor? A matter of honor. All right. After you get through TNG, then you can take a look at the original series. 
And if 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 the, the original series feels dated to you, check out Deep Space Nine. That's my order. I think that's a fine order. It's a fine order. Try the movies and you didn't like them. Well, the, the TNG movies, especially, <laughs> don't at all convey what the series was like. When they made the TNG movies, they decided to turn them into stupid action movies, and that's that's kind of what Star Trek has been ever since the TNG movies. It's been stupid action. It's really depressing. The, the original series movies, they're, they're hit or miss. Wrath of Khan is really good, but that's another one that I don't think is really indicative of what the TV shows were like. Wrath of Khan? It's very Ooh. space opera-y. Yeah, but like, uh... Wrath of Khan, like, it had that great... Oh, it's great! The, it's great! The, the spaceship battle at the end, I think, was very was very Star Trek. It's far better than all of your multi-ship <laughs> fucking Star Trek Discovery. <laughs> this this little cat and mouse game that Kirk and Khan are playing with each other in this nebula, this submarine style combat. Yeah. Was fucking awesome. Yes. And tense. In a way that <laughs> explosions could never be. I agree. completed my mission. But now I need to leave and I don't have an exit. Oh wait. I can just blow this up. Right? I don't know. I'm, I'm just looking at the chat and I have no idea what's going on in your game right now. That's what I need. That's what I needed. Good work, Jack. I did. did that, I mean, that was sloppy as fuck. You did it. But I did it. I'm killing everyone and hiding in the bushes. Absolutely. That's my stealth game. Wrath of Khan is such a good movie. Wrath of Khan is a... But, I, I mean, like, I get what you're saying, like, with space operas. But it's just such a fucking good movie. Yeah. Fuck, have that be your first Star Trek movie. It's, it's not about an ethical dilemma. It's not about a mystery. It's a, it's this Shakespearean drama. I want to get revenge on him. It's Moby Dick in space. Except for Kirk is Moby Dick. Kirk is Kirk is the whale. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs>
It's, it's a little bit BS because I actually got caught and thrown out of the ship once, but apparently I didn't do enough to ra and blew up part of the ship, but didn't do enough to raise an alarm. So I still won. Good. So I'll take it. Good. Thank you. Oh. You well, oh do you have to switch characters? Apparent. Uh, I don't know. Oh, that I did that with someone else. Oh, okay. So that that person I did it with is now a legend, but I still have my dude. So. Can you lose your dude? Yeah, you can lose your dude. Because he becomes a legend? Like when you... For doing too good? Yeah, if you... I think if... I think... And I've never actually completed a personal mission, but I think if you complete a personal mission, you lose your dude. That sounds awful! With all of his stuff. That sounds awful. Yes, but I don't know. Like, I got my personal mission. Maybe I could try... You know what? I have some good weapons, too. Let's try my personal mission. Let's see what happens. See if I do one. No, you have to manually retire him. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Got him. Got him. All right, let's see what we need for our personal mission here. Uh, we've seen the future content roadmap the developers released for Friday the 13th. The game it says yes. Turbo Jesus 5000. You have, I haven't. I'm, 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 I'm now out of it. It's not to say I couldn't jump back, and but I'm playing XCOM now. I was playing Mario Rabbids before that. After, after that, I, maybe I kind of want to take a look at this. Yeah, so I'm, I've, I've kind of moved on. You have your own game roadmap that doesn't include Friday <laughs> right. the 13th, is what you're saying. Right. You know, I and they gave us the emote update. And they have introduced the swimsuit DLC, and I hopped back on actually. Like, yeah, well, and it was really cute to see everyone in their swimsuit, even though it costs like three bucks or five bucks, or whatever, to get the swimsuit DLC. And I played a couple rounds, and I agree with you. I just didn't feel it. I just didn't feel it anymore. And maybe we need a new map. Like, if you can give me a new map, oh, maybe that's uh, an excuse to get in. But I don't care about swimsuits. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, I don't know. I don't know that I am gonna read that tip. It's just potentially div like, who is your favorite person at RLM? Uh, these are all my friends. Right. I'm not gonna rank them like objects. I mean, but you could. Just say yourself. Yeah, that's the way out of that. Yeah, it's me. I'm my favorite person at RLM. There you go. Uh, Anonymous says, Jack, I've been freelance editing recently, and it has been very lucrative. Nice. Congratulations. I'm thinking about doing it full-time and pursuing more clients. Should I get an LLC? Yes. How do I make the jump to full-time? Uh, a wing and a prayer, my friend. Uh, yes, get an LLC right away. It really helps uh, for taxation purposes, and everything then can um, become business expenses, which the more write-offs you have, the better uh, for tax reasons. Uh, there's, there's lots of good reasons to get a uh, LLC. Um, so yes, as far as making the switch to full-time, there's... Uh, man, fuck, that's that's a really tricky thing because once you start going full freelance 100% of the time, you never sleep again. Because every job could be your last job for the next couple of months, and it's incredibly stressful. I think worth it. <laughs> but, <laughs> but also, it worked out for me, and, uh, you know, my wife works as well. So, <laughs> so, like, that's how we made that work. So good luck, good luck, man. But yeah, get, I mean, fuck, get an LLC just for now. You can start writing off uh, part of your home. Like you can part, start writing, if you have a home office, you can write off a little bit of your energy expenses because that's going towards the business. You can write off, 
if you if you're in a creative field you can write off any movie you go to uh your cable services your you can write off a bit of your internet your cell phone like there's so many get and and by the way quick tip find yourself a tax person <laughs> Find yourself a person that knows these kind of tax stuff and listen to them. Worth every penny. The hysterical reaction to Discovery, including from Rich, makes me wonder what the hell is the matter with Star Trek fans. Action, drama, humor, good production values, and all they squeal is, no, it's stupid now. For one, I praise the production values. You, uh, you did, you said uh, it looked really good. I don't watch Star Trek for action. Star Trek fans don't watch Star Trek for action. Uh -huh. It was never an action series. This is a recent development because they're trying to get the lowest common denominator of Star Trek. In, in fact, historically, when Star Trek, the non-action series, tried to be an action series in the Star Trek The Next Generation movies, they failed spectacularly. Yeah. Up Then it, it took them all the way until JJ came around to completely reboot the series to make them action friendly. And then you have a, what, one and a half success ratio? <laughs> one and a half out of three? <laughs> uh, drama. Yeah. Uh, there's more to drama than just people being miserable. Uh, and uh, humor, finally humor. There was no humor in Star Trek Discovery. There was no levity. Oh. I don't know where you're seeing this levity. It does not exist. The J.J. movies had them, but... Yeah, those were lighthearted. I, I, I like Star Trek 2009 and beyond. Yeah, yeah, me too. So... My, my only, like, Star Trek the Star Trek, my complaint is the complaint that a lot of people have, which is it is a very good space action movie. It's not necessarily a tr Star Trek thing, mm -hmm. but it's very good. <laughs> beyond is more, is more a Star Trek thing. quite ready for my personal mission yet. So we're gonna, just, we're gonna keep going at the hard missions here. Look, I, I can appreciate some, two of the JJ movies, but yeah, they're, they're, they're kind of action trek, but I, I see them as more just fun nostalgia trips than this is the direction Star Trek is going and that's what I want to see more. I'm just like, yeah, this is a fun movie. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when I think of Star Trek, I think of the original series in TNG. Yeah. Those are the first things that come to my mind, not JJ Trek. And to me, when I think of Star Trek, uh, TNG is my, is my yeah. first thought. But, you know, that's when I started watching. Well, TNG is my favorite, but yeah. I, I, I like the original series, too. Yeah, there's, there's some good stuff in the original series. Look at this ship. Square-ass ship. But the fact that you can look at Discovery and see humor in there anywhere... I don't see it. Uh, it was violent and depressing. See, I didn't even see it. There's a guard right here. Look at that. On, on quick inspect, do you see that guard? There's a guard yeah. right here. Yeah. Right there. Armored guard. That's not gonna help. I wonder how fast my pod leaves. If I swap, if I swap with that guard with the armor. Does he die? Or does he just go on my pod? He just goes on my pod. That's fine. Why would you think he died? Uh, my, your pod leaves. Oh, okay. You just need to flee. Fuck. Now I do. Can you teleport down that hallway? Yeah. He won't see you there. He's yeah, out he, of his line of sight. There he saw me. But he's got the, the filling... Yeah. Well, you're good now, right? I'm good now. I was hoping to do something more clever, because uh, I need I need this thing. He has my he has a key I need. Okay. So I was hope I was hoping that 
And see, now my ship is gone. Oh no, my ship is still. Why is my ship still there? <gasps> I wasn't thinking, Wrench. I could have remote controlled my pot away. That was me not thinking. Oh well. Alright, what do I need here? What am I even doing? I'm rescuing someone. Frog Waters, guys, I just played Robocop, Yoshi's Cookie, Zelda 2, and Ghost and Goblins on my original NES. Great. Felt like I played for hours. It was only 45 minutes while listening to you. Oh. Attack on Titan Season 2 thoughts? That's the Jack question. Uh, I... I liked Attack on Attack on Titan. It was weird. Um, a lot of a lot of interesting stuff. Good action. I, I don't super care like about that as a series because you know it's a lot of a lot of anime tropes where it's super over dramatic and you know, just long stretches of people yelling at each other and not looking at cool things. But you know, it's fine. Oh, motherfucker. Uh -huh. Oh, motherfucker. Could they merge this with FTL? What do you mean? Where you, sometimes you can have ship to ship combat. Ooh, dog, yeah. Gosh, dang it. Gosh, dang it. What am I even doing? Oh, that's right, I'm rescuing someone. I've already asked that question. <laughs> now I'm being incredibly reckless. Bigger it's a bit too. Says if you play lots of missions on one guy, the gear snowball makes the game too easy. So you get less liberation XP. Oh. That's the incentive for retiring. Oh, okay, well there you go. Clear your personal mission early and reset. Quad wrench. Okay. Thinking about buying Planet Coaster. Has anyone here played it? Karen loves it. Right now, actually, did we remember to turn Steam into um, offline mode? Did we not do that? Yeah, or you're offline. We're offline? Yeah. Okay. But I mean, in the. Um, as far as just Steam being connected to the internet, shit. All right, all right. Karen's gonna be mad at you. Probably. Well, she would have texted you, right? Oh, did I miss a text? We were supposed to play an offline mode. She might mode. be like too polite to say anything while we're streaming because she thinks we need it to be Steam and online mode. We don't. We were supposed to turn it to offline mode so Karen could play Planet Coaster. <laughs> Eep. Did she text you? Turned off, go on offline mode right now. How long ago did she text you? Not too long ago. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, everybody. Let's see if this fucks up the game. It might. <whistles> Sorry, Karen, if you listen to this later. Oh, yeah, they shut down the game. They, they released the Planet Coaster Halloween stuff. And she's all about that. Uh, 
Oh. <clears throat> oh darn. Um. For the if we're if we're going, how much longer do you want to go? I don't know. Look, I got nothing to do at home because she's going to be busy playing Planet Coaster. So, uh, because now uh, <laughs> we can't play Heat Signature because it's my game and you're no longer connected. Oh, no. Oh, um, no. So, but I, I'm pretty sure you're, you'd be able to play XCOM 2 if you would like to play all right, some more XCOM All right. 2. All right. Oh, no. Because, because we are in offline mode, we are unable to play um, Heat Signature. 